Okay, I am working on this one dresser here that is a pain. Um, and the funny thing is, I took out this other dresser to do before this one. I, that one was a lot of work. I was like, ah, I need something a little easier. I took this one out. Actually, this one is probably turning out to be harder than that one. I'm going to show you what's going on right now. So uh, these two drawers right here on the right are good. And what I did is I sanded down the edges because the edges had all kinds of little nicks and things in that. So I wanted to make the edges a lot nicer. And then I had to sand a little bit right there. But they go into the drawer spots and they come go back and forth really nice. This one was all apart and I did the one side. And when that dried, now I'm doing the putting the front on. So um, I'm waiting for that to dry. And so I haven't tried to put it in the slot yet. And I wanted to wait for everything to dry before I started to paint to make sure, but I'm getting impatient, so I think I'm just going to start painting. This here was another one that they had been taped, blue taped, all over on the one side, this side. And it's been apart many times. Actually, I think most of these drawers have been already glued. And so I put some type of, type, uh, it's like a popsicle type stick in this space here because there was a huge gap right there because all that stuff had came off and and then I cut this piece of wood and I'm gluing it right there and then this side too I had to glue there and hopefully it'll all you know hold tight otherwise it looks pretty square but it was in such bad shape over here there was nothing left for anything to hang on to. So I haven't put that one in either. I don't know how well it's going to be. You know, if it's slightly off whack, eh, then it might not shut properly. Although it did shut before, but that doesn't mean it's going to shut once it's dry. So anyways, those two are drying, and I think they're going to have... In the meantime, I thought, well, I can sit on that, or I can start painting. And it's like, if I... If they don't work, what do I do? Take them apart and try to fix them again? Or do I just scrap the whole dresser? I'm not sure. And then also I didn't um, sand around those either. But I did sand around this, this edge and these edges. And I sanded the whole top. I'll show you the top. Because it was all bubbly up there. And there's no way, no way you could do anything with it except for sand it down. And it's smooth. It's bumpy, but it's smooth. Actually, here I should, I might sand a little bit more right here, and I'll do that right now. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and start painting. Right here I have to do some, just a second. <laughs> going to turn out you know I know it's going to look better than than it, if I wouldn't have done anything so uh, this one is really something so um let me get my thing to open that up and uh my brush is right there and I'm just going to start in on it um I asked my daughter what color what color to go with on this dresser um, because I'm kind of like unsure I know I don't want black and so um she just said do a light gray so we're just gonna do a light gray see how it turns out so I've got the paint right here I just lost a Louis, move out of the way, please. Got a couple of nails. 
and they had nails in, in the here too, and the nails were like in but not holding anything. I mean, oh man, what a wreck. Uh, if it's, I'll give it till the morning and then I'll see if everything's holding good and see if I have to like redo anything or come up with another idea. So anyways, this is a light gray. Mix it up. It's new paint. Yeah, it's kind of a. Where's my glasses? Here they are. Let's see what this does for color. It almost looks like it's got a little brown in there. Um, something gray, scalloped gray, never heard of it, looks brownish gray to me, anyways it looks nice, we'll see, we'll see how this turns out. It's a, it's a um, heavy dresser, I know that much. But I think it's been through a lot. So, let me go ahead and put this over here. We'll start on this side here and um, make my way around. down here. Okay. Let me put my glasses up so I can get a better look. I got two dressers from the same guy. One is kind of a common, lighter, dresser. Reminds me of one that maybe my older brother had when I was a kid. Um, and then this one, which is actually a heavier dresser. The other one looks like it's everything, well I can't say it because I haven't tried the drawers, but it's, it's not all apart. It's not in pieces. So. This one here has all the hardware and everything, so well, that's good. Okay. Actually, it feels good to be painting it, but you know, you have to fix everything too before you begin, so. so right there, I see, I'm gonna see if there's like, do you see that there's like a little crack right there? Um, I'll see if it's on the other side, in the same place. If, if it is, then that's fine. Otherwise, I'm going to put a little filler in there. Okay. What I should have done, let me, um, grab this. I want to scrape this a little bit. tape right here. Like somebody taped something on the side of that. See that? Some, uh, 
clear tape. Lower this down a little bit. You guys can see more of the bottom. Move over. So it looks pretty good. Just gotta make sure that it's nice and even. The sides of this dress are really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the front. You can see that it's start at the top so I'll move you guys up again I just get underneath here.
figure out like how I want to do this side. I suppose up to there enough so that when you open the, the drawers Pretty good. Maybe underneath here. I can see you can see that part when you open the close the drawers. You don't have to see, you don't necessarily see down here, but you see like up here. I'm going to move you guys down a little bit so you can see the rest, right, a little bit more here, there, so you can see the bottom, actually looks pretty good. This isn't a bad color, actually. This is a new color for me. I haven't tried this one yet, so. 